Every time you, you know what? I don't even, you know what? No. Guys, it happened. No. It no. It happened every year. Woo! I Paula, oh, you glorious bitch full of grease and sugar. Love you. Should have a life insurance agency right next door. <laughs> that way you can help get your affairs in order. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It's like a softball with filling. The great thing about donuts is that no matter where you live or or you know what your life circumstance is like, you can always find time to hate eat a donut if something's going really, really wrong. You can always hate eat a donut, whether you're in Arizona, whether you're in Buffalo. But I will say, I would challenge Sean. I, I'll, ma I'll make this deal with Sean. I will ship Sean a dozen Paula's Donuts if he sends us the dozen of the best donuts he can find in Arizona. And I guarantee, I guarantee we win. I guarantee, I guarantee, I guarantee Paula wins. You're Joe Namath on Donuts. <laughs> Hey guys, Paul here. So, quick public service announcement. Before you get into the teeth of this episode, we 100% butchered the name of F.A. Obata this entire episode. We know, we know, this is, just stick with the episode, give, give us a break on this one. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, like, give us a break, so... Uh, thank you. Stick with the content. As always, you know, thanks again for watching. Hashtag. Sorry, F.A. I, Paul is, is pretty clutch. I'm willing, I'm willing to go deep on that one. I will happily send Sean a box of Paula's donuts if he ships us a box of the best donuts that he's got. You know, anytime no, we no talk question. to Sean, we're, we're, we're 17 point underdogs. <laughs> What the? What is up with Arizona? Like they're the team I want to hate this off season. Is their goal to be the oldest team in the NFL? They signed AJ Green. They signed uh, JJ Watt. Like, mm -hmm. what? What is? What? Why? Why do either of those? I mean, what? I I guess I get, but now if you're going to play him ninety snap, ninety percent of snaps. Well, you know what? I think Sean can attest to this. There's people from all over the country that moved to Arizona, right? Right. Why not get players from every team? Yeah, that's it. Who's <laughs> hey, over? I'm actually a Bengals fan, but I live in Arizona. I, I'm going to watch Arizona now Yeah, who's, because A.J. Green's there. Right. Who's uh, who's over? Who's near 35? Who's near 35? Anybody? When they sign Green, I'm, I'm sitting there going, that okay, Fitzgerald, bad. Hopkins, and Green. This is 2015. I know, right? I'm looking. I pulled out Madden 13, and I was curious <laughs> about what it looked like. I was like, "Yeah." F.A. Obata. So. Oh, we actually had an episode. Yeah, somewhere in here. Okay. F. Obata. Everybody's calling him a defensive end. What is he? Well, so are we talking about where did he take snaps, or where did he see his best production? I think those two things are different. Now, mind you, from a snap count perspective, people are getting excited over a guy. And let me just, I'll give some background here, right? But after Obata. the snap count uh, over the course of his career, now, mind you, he entered the year, he entered the NFL in 2018, I think. 2018. Through the Pathways program, right? Pathway, he's the first player to be signed to an NFL team on the roster. I think that's that's a big deal. He's a big character guy. He's actually he's actually a really cool dude. He's actually a big dude. He's a very big man. He's a very big man. Um, so snap counts were oh my god. Come on now. I I love pro football reference. I love pro football reference. But the ads? Yeah, the ads are brutal. What? You don't need any more E D medicine? Listen, I know I'm getting near 40, right? I know the clock is ticking. Yeah, I'm closer to 40 than you are. Well, that, well what's behind us? <laughs> uh, so snap counts. 2018, 19% defensive snaps. 2019, 28% defensive snaps. 
2020, 39% defensive snaps. That's what he would play here. Not even, like, that's what he would, if he, he makes the roster. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Maybe. Does he it's, have practice squad eligibility being on the team for three years? Uh, well, he would be, he doesn't have, well, he's got three years of eligibility. Yeah, he could still be practice squad eligible. It depends on what rules they adopt. True. Right? So it depends on the rules they adopt. Because he came from the pathways. How does it work? How old is he? Uh, he's treated just like a normal player now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 28? 28, okay. I think. I will look that up. 28 or 29. Now, is this going to be, what kind of episode are we going to have today, Paul? Is this going to be a, well, they can 29 coach. 29 when the season starts. Right. Is this going to be a, well, they can coach anybody up? So, this is, I think he's a good culture fit, right? I think he, he walks right in, and he's a guy that worked hard to get where he was, mm-hmm. right? Really likes football, like takes the game seriously. So I think from that standpoint, he's the type of player that being a McDermott like to go get. But he had five and a half sacks last year on 39% snap count. So just think about that for a second, okay? Now, so I, let's, I didn't watch a lot of Carolina. Could this be a Jordan Phillips scenario? Well, and, and that's where I think things are interesting, right? Because of the sacks that I saw... Because I didn't go back and watch all five. I don't think sacks <coughs> are something you need to go back and watch highlight reel for. No. You can see whether a guy's an effective pass rusher by looking at the game film. But to talk specifically about the sacks, mm-hmm. out of the because I saw watching the film, there were five and a half sacks. I only saw four of them, right? But the four that I saw because I didn't watch all sixteen games. I'm not doing that. Um, but the four sacks that I saw, three of them were from the defensive tackle position. Right. And everybody's like, oh, Bill signed defensive end F.A. Obata. But three of his sacks out of the five and a half last year, that's, let's call that a majority, right? We're in majority. Came from the defensive tackle position. Yeah, so you're with me now, right? Doesn't that change the paint job on the signing? Yes. Right. Yes. That's what I mean. You th- they should be saying, we signed defensive linemen. F- Obata. Everybody's like, oh, we signed Defensive end. Obata. Because that's all people want to talk about is, oh, what are we going to do at defensive end? Oh, this guy played snaps at defensive end. Must be a defensive end. No. No. And it, what's most interesting to me is he got a worker sack against Rodgers last year. Like, he was working for that sack against Rodgers last year. And it was the only snap he played in the second half. That was it. From the defensive tackle position, goes out, grinds a sack for Rodgers, doesn't play... Another snap. Didn't play a snap before that. Didn't play a snap after that. You know what I'm going to say. He, he, he put Tom Brady in another universe last year. He did. Put him in another universe. Crushed him. I was shocked it wasn't, it wasn't flagged. Let's see. That. Let's, let's try to... Let's back this up. Let's back this up. Back up the trucks. <laughs> back this up like you're going back to 40. <clears throat> God, there's just this time where I just freaking <laughs> hate you. So you have Harrison Phillips, mm-hmm. Starla Tudor, yep. Vernon Butler, yep. Ed Oliver, yep, Zimmer, yep, and then it's your I know defensive end mm-hmm. position. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm, I'm missing guys. Don't worry, they'll they'll be in the comment section. I'm missing guys. Uh, so. But then your defensive ends are looking a little light. Everyone's talking about, hey, you need this at 30, this at 30. You pick up Obata, who you said probably played better inside than outside. Who's the guy who was on the fence when he was drafted playing inside and outside? You're thinking Ed Oliver goes to end. Ed Oliver goes to to end. Now, this is not – I want to be clear because this is not a Edmund should play outside linebacker. It's different. It's so different. Could Oliver transition across from Addison and Hughes? So you have Hughes, um, Star, um, Obata, and Oliver. Who's messing with that line, really? And then you 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 rotate in Addison, you rotate in Butler. Mm-hmm. Did you say Epineza. You rotate in Epineza. You know what I'm saying? But my point is. They like those guys that can play multiple positions along the defensive front. Obata. They seem to fit that mold. 100%. But if you're looking for a first-round defensive end, you may already have it on the roster. 
Because what if Oliver plays 60% of his snaps, but, like, he plays 40% inside, 20% outside? You circumvent that role with Oliver. Yeah, here's where. Obata. Interesting. It is interesting, right? So, Obata. Dubba's tendency to get a little sticky, right? That's what McDermott wants. Does that don't bother McDermott at all? No, it doesn't. On the interior, he depends on his swim move. Depends on it. Like Jerry Hughes depends on his swim move, right? Yeah, that's like, that's not eating bodies. Right. Know. But that's why star is so important, right? So when you see yeah. Obata, you're going to see him in packages with star. You're going to see him in packages with the house. You're not going to see him yes. in packages, you know, with Harrison. That's right. You're not going you're not going to see that. If you do. I mean, if they right. I, I I have no doubt they'll play him in defensive tackle. But it's it's a very interesting dynamic. They're prob he's probably a a specialty package player where he comes in and third and long. Well, he plays special teams. That, 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 too. that I mean, let's go back to how important that is. It's he plays yeah. special teams too. Now, keep in mind, I think what should be important here is the fact that we're not saying that this is a solution to the defensive front. Could they still go defensive end at thirty? Yeah, but we're, which I'm just saying that this is a typical move of a coachable guy. That could fit in the culture. Okay, you from Carolina. Okay, all right, fine. But you look at the size, strength, speed, raw talent of this guy. For as much as they rotate on defensive front, it's not a bad sign. Right. No, it's not. And, you know, they're going to bring in a guy who was the only player to make an NFL, or he was the first player to make an NFL roster from the International Pathway <laughs> Program, which just got extended another year, by the way. Really? So Christian Wade could be the international player, extra practice squad player, again. Well, why would I mean, he's going to be 30, though. Yeah, it's, at some point you just have to look at how realistic is this. Hey, Why are you just back. hurting his chances? Who are you running back? Well, why don't, why don't we got Matt Breida, who I just, oh my God, Mario. My soul exploded when I heard we signed Matt Breida to veteran minimum. Like, I know Miami, that didn't go great last year. Listen, okay. <clears throat> oh, listen. I have to endure this. I'm not going to have you guys <laughs> endure it. We're going to go. Obata. Oh,